Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and in this course you will learn how to create a Builder Defender game. The design is a really interesting mix between a city builder and a tower defense game, so if either of those genres are something you're interested in, then this course is just for you. With the knowledge you will learn from this course, you'll be able to make city builders, RTSs, tower defense games, tycoons, village simulators, and much much more. Even if you're not interested in these particular genres, the course will still teach you a ton regarding how to structure a game from start to finish, how to use scriptable objects, managers, animations, effects, and so on. About me, I'm a professional indie game developer with several successful games published on Steam covering a wide range of genres. I've been programming for over 20 years and using Unity for almost 10. Also, a couple of years ago, I started a YouTube channel making free tutorial videos to share my knowledge to help you learn how to make your own games. If you'd like to try out my learning style before purchasing the course, you can watch the over 300 videos available for free on the YouTube channel. They are presented as clear step-by-step -step tutorials, just like this course. Now a bit more about the game. Like I mentioned, the game is a really interesting mix between a city builder and a tower defense game. So the player has the ability to place buildings, and those buildings gather resources. There's three starting resource types, wood, stone, and gold, although everything is set up in such a way that you can easily add more resource types. The resource generation is based on proximity, so a wood harvester needs to be placed near trees in order to gather wood. The buildings take some time to be constructed, and it shows the progress with a nice visual element and a really awesome shader. Then we have some enemies. They are simple, but still look great. Our HQ can defend itself by shooting arrows. We can place more towers to add more defenses. Over time, more and more enemies will be spawned until the player can take it anymore. So it's all about placing buildings, gathering resources, in order to place more buildings, and defending your HQ for as long as you can. Then the whole game has tons of effects and lots of awesome features. You can see some cool shaders, some glow, screen shake, post-processing, a tooltip, lots of UI elements, smooth camera, particles, and so on. So the final game plays really great and it feels really satisfying. This whole course starts with a completely empty project starting completely from scratch, and step by step we'll get to this point. Every single thing in this game is made inside of this course, so there's no hidden code anywhere, everything is made while on screen. Also, everything is built in a very clean and modular way, so you can easily take this as a base and expand upon it with more building types, enemies, maps, resources, and so on. This course is presented as a thorough step-by-step -step guide, where I will show you exactly how to do what I'm doing and why it is that I'm doing it, so you can learn to think like a professional game developer. This course will cover a bunch of topics, including how to create a building system, handle building construction and resource management, handle enemy AI with attack logic and a health system along with projectiles, build up the world with resources in specific places, and polish it all up with tons of effects, particles, sound, and so on. Also, learn the basics of Unity tools like Shader Graph, Post Processing, Scene Machine, and much, much more. As for requirements, you really just need to know the absolute basics of Unity and C Sharp, so if you know how Unity works, what are game objects and components, what is mono behavior, and the basic C Sharp syntax like variables and functions, then you should be able to follow everything without any issues. If you feel confused or lost at any point in the course, then make sure you post your questions in the Q&A section. I will be there to help with whatever issues you may have. Also, every single lecture also contains the starting project files as resources. So if you missed one lecture or want to get a refresher on a particular lesson, then you can go there and download the resources and follow it from there. Alright, so go ahead, join me on the course, and let's build this awesome game together.